I recently purchased a Korg MS-2000 and found out that one of the audio jacks was loose, making the audio drop in and out. This is due to the soldering getting old and separating, which is an easy fix. For this job, you're going to need a screwdriver, solder, and a soldering iron. First thing to do is remove the three screws holding up each wooden side panel. There are also three screws along the bottom of the back that we need to remove. The others we'll remove a bit later. There are two screws on the bottom. The only ones you need to remove are the two that are sticking out, not the ones that are indented. With the synth turned upside down, remove the bottom half attached to the keyboard. There are two wires attached to the bottom, so make sure you don't yank them out too hard. The small one came loose by itself, but you're going to have to be careful to remove the other. If you have trouble, try using a screwdriver or your nail to lift up on its sides. Mine all came out with no problem. There are two sections to this synth. We're going to detach the smaller one that's connected to the back. I removed the other wires except for the long, wide one which is giving me some trouble and I didn't want to force it out. If it helps, take pictures before you do this so you have a reference of where things go when you're putting it back together. Next, remove the remaining screws on the back side holding the board in place and retrieve a clean cloth to lay it on. It's not easy to see, but the soldering is cracked in a few places. And over here is the horrible job I did at fixing the power connector which was having the same cracked soldering problem. I made a bit of a mess, but it's holding up and working fine. I held the solder over the cracked pieces and let it drip over the connector. Note that I'm not a professional and this is only my second time doing something like this. So it shows that it doesn't take too much know-how to accomplish this mission. Once I was satisfied, I began putting it all back together. Screw the board to the back and reconnect the wire clusters. The tricky part is putting the bottom back on the synth. Make sure you reconnect the two cables and make sure that the larger of the two is in the correct orientation. If you don't, the keyboard will be completely unresponsive. I had this problem during my first fix of the power connector and thought I had broken the keyboard. The larger connector should be facing the back of the synth, even though it fits either way. When sliding the bottom plate on, make sure the bottom fits inside of the top. Once it's all together, I found it easiest to screw in the bottom first. For me, it was off-center and I had to do some wiggling to get it oriented correctly, but once those two screws are in place, the rest shouldn't give you much of a problem. Screw in the back three screws and the three supporting the wood on either side. Make sure that you put the wood on the correct side. And that's about it. The only thing left to do is to test it out and jam. I hope this video helped. Let me know how your repair turned out. Like this video if you liked it, dislike this video if it sucked, have fun in the studio, and never stop making music.